Heyo duckies, Andy Lippy here, back with another OBS video and 27, version 27 of OBS has finally been released and it comes with a couple of problems, some things that you might need to know, we're going to kind of go over the patch notes, everything like that, I'm going to get start basically with the things that you, you're probably going to be really important for you to know, uh, as certain things won't work with OBS 27, there will be need to, uh, some updates dates for different kind of programs that you might be using with OBS uh, but I'll, I'll talk through that in just a second so let's just get into it deep dive into OBS 27 the biggest update in forever in OBS honestly it is absolute fire so let's get into it put your rock for the stone let's go Right, so I'm going to kind of start with the, the negative bits just to get them out of the way because there's not many negatives to this update at all. And to be honest, the negatives will be solved in the future. So first things first, there will be some issues if you guys use things like Leoran Board, Touch Portal, the stream up stuff that we make, certain things will not work properly okay so for instance if you jump in the discord right now say of leoran board there's been an announcement to say um please report any bugs i need to change this hotkey i say this every time i do a video uh please report any bugs with leoran board and extension related this is the same with touch portal biku bot anything like that because certain things have changed inside of obs one of them being uh, as an example how color is used so color correction filters now uh, basically have a different value so rather than going from 0 to 100 say on opacity it's now 0 to 1 you've got more control uh, over the color and everything like that inside of OBS but they're not currently working alongside and that kind of goes the same for uh, the stream up stuff We've actually put a, a bunch of info on the page uh, due to some filters uh, uh, and changes, everything like that. Stream up products might not work on OBS 27, but I implore you, please just jump into the Discord at stream up and just bang in bug report just here, just so we know what, what's working, what's not working. And it saves us a bunch of testing and stuff like that because it's only me and Waldo really doing the testing. Uh, so please, if you come across any issues at all due to the new OBS, 27 just let us know and we will fix it and bring out a patch and that goes the same for the on board everything like that please please share that information it just makes it a little bit easier for us to deal with okay Right, so I'll show you exactly what I was on about with the, the filters changing a little bit. So all the color systems have kind of changed inside of OBS. Sorry for the jankiness there. Wonderful. It's what you get. You come here for quality. So I've got my webcam up here, as you can see. This is the, the main cam just here. I can actually go to the filters, and you'll see we've got a ton of filters on here. I'm just going to add a color correction filter. So like I say, all the color has changed in OBS 27. So you'll see... Uh, some of them look the same, but you've got multiply, you've got color add as well, you've got the opacity, but this now goes from 0 to 1. And same with brightness, it goes from 0 to 1. But you can probably see, if you put them side by side, uh, the old one and the new one, you've got so much more control over your lighting um, and color corrections. So you can get some really nice looking effects as well, which is really, really nice. It's super simple to use. But with the stream up stuff and the stuff inside of Leoran board, the, uh, we're used to it going, choosing a value between 0 and 100. So if it now it's 0 to 1... It's not going to work the same, but there is a fix for Leoran Board, which you can download in the Leoran Board Discord. So if you jump into Discord, go to the Leoran Board and go to Releases under the Extension tab, you'll see the Source Motion Alpha Filter has actually been semi-patched out. So uh, that will be, you can download that and that's a temporary fix until Leoran fixes it all together, which shouldn't usually take him long. He's pretty quick on that sort of thing. So we've kind of talked more in the past about all the different features that have come. So I want to kind of just go over some of them. There has been changes to one. So I'm, I'm just going to talk about that now. That is the track mat uh, stinger transitions. So that's where you can get the really cool like effect where both scenes run at once and one burns into another. There's so many great examples of that. And there's some great videos out there to explain how they work. And also uh, some great examples that you can actually download as well. So two great 
great videos uh, on talking about track mat is uh, from Bravity and also uh, Epos Vox as well, just showing how the, the transitions work and how you can utilize them to the best effect. There has been a change though to it. So if we actually start creating a transition, I'm just going to move my cam. Uh, you'll see if I start creating a stinger transition, which is how we normally create a track map, press OK. We, we have the little box that says use track map, but we don't have the third option there anymore. Now we only have same file side by side or same file stacked, which they do talk about in the video. Basically, you'll build a big video with the actual transition and the, the track map on there as well and it will basically play them videos at the same time the reason they got rid of the third option which meant that you could use two files so one of the actual uh, track mat and another one of the actual transition similar to the example that i used in one of my previous videos which you can see just here how these two kind of webm files you've got the transition what that looks like but then also the track mat on top of it as well. So the white and the black basically depict which, which um, scene A and scene B and how they transition across. Now they need to be burned together in the same video format. If you want me to do a video on that, please let me know in the comment section below, okay? But even though that's not still there, it just means that you need to do some video editing skills. I'm doing this because... It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out how to do that as long as you have the initial files to work with. Uh, but other than that, that does work exactly the same. You just press use track mat. Uh, I don't have one actually built to, uh, to show you the transition, but trust me, it works. So my biggest favorite thing, in fact, there's so many things in this that I totally love in OBS 27. So we did speak about them previously in the older video when I was talking about the release candidate coming out. We've got the undo. Like if I just start turning off some, some of these bad boys, I can use control Z to undo. As you can see, if I go up to edit in the top left, you've got undo, redo. And as the release candidates have gone on, they've added more and more different steps that you can use. Like now it works with filters. There's other things that it works with as well if they if you notice anything that doesn't work with undo and redo then let them know in the GitHub page and they'll probably add it in they've been adding so many things in there i still can't believe one guy created that can't remember the name off the top of my head which is really bad of me uh, i really need to reference people I, lo I love you guys okay Another one that's absolutely insane is obviously the show and hide transitions, which you can put on any source at all. So on my main cam here, I can uh, when it's showing, I can get it to, um, uh, we'll get it to fade in, shall we? So I'll do fade in, and then when I right click and I wanna hide it, it's gonna do a slide transition. It'll slide off to the left. Now, when I press that little visibility, when it hides, it slides off to the left. When it shows, it fades in. Did I do that the wrong way round? I did. One incredible guy. Um, and I can change them to absolutely anything. Use stingers, use luma wipes if I wanted to. So you can get some really cool, cool effects depending on what you're looking for. So I slide it out. I want it to come in. And we get a window blind effect just there. And that is super simple to do. Similar, as you can probably see my little widgets, I've got the, the little weather widget up here on my stream. And you can see, I could use that and set that on to a slide in. So if I want to show it, I can have that slide in um, from the right. I believe I have to do it like that. No, I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I don't know my left and my right. Oh yeah, I was I was right the first time. It was left. What a, what a guy. Okay, it's been a long day. Don't don't come at me, guys. Um, so if I wanted to slide it out, it'll um, slide in now from the left, like so. And I can have that go back out if I hide that to the right as well. So if I do another slide and choose right, that'll disappear off to the right. So now if I ever want that to come on, I could set up a channel point redeemable using like Leoran board, touch pull, anything like that, and just have the visibility to come on for a little bit. If somebody's asked what the weather is, have it disappear out. And there's no animating involved. It is just a transition, but on a source. And you probably see that this is a nested scene just here. If I went to go and add that into a different scene at all, so like if I add the simple weather into here, for instance, add the scene. Where is it? Simple weather. Do, 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 do. There's so many scenes just here. There we go. If I add that in just here, you probably see it. I'll just cover my face up with it like so. Uh, if I hide and show it, that transition's no longer there. 
So I can set up a completely different transition for each different scene that this is nested into if I really want to. So I can do a, a fade when I show it and I can hide it and do a fade as well. So now when I hide it, fades, fades in. But if I go to the other scene that we were previously on and I turn it on and off, it's still got the sliding function just there. So another really cool feature that they've added is the missing files pop up. So this tells you when you open up OBS, if you're missing any particular file at all, like I'm missing the Petsumai device PNG, it just gives me a little warning to say, well, rather than you just find out the hard way that you've not got something plugged in, or maybe your hard drive's not plugged in or something like that, rather than starting your stream and then realizing, oh, oh, none of my stuff works, it gives you a warning first. So we can actually search for the new file if we need to, say if something has gone kind of just moved around a little bit. So if I go to my Leoran board folder, go to my receiver, wherever I put the file, which is there, I can re-input that, press apply, and it will add that directly back in just like so. So you can search for each individual device or make sure that your peripherals are all kind of in properly as well. Probably, pro pro properly, I, I said probably and properly at the same time. So other than that, there are a huge bunch of features like the NVIDIA noise removal is now built into OBS, which is pretty cool. Um, but obviously it does require the NVIDIA audio effects, SDK and all that jazz, but it is actually inside of OBS. That is Windows only. And there was a load of bug fixes as well and little improvements such as different presets. Also, the, the fact that you can uh, refresh uh, a dock in the right click context menu. So if I'm in a, in, in a dock like this, I can actually press refresh there um which you probably didn't see because my big mug's in the way but if i right click in any of my docs i can press refresh and it will reload them up so i don't need to close them reopen them all that jazz i can easily just refresh them there and obviously there's a load of bug fixes which is always good so if you do find any issues at all with anything related to obs any extensions not working from stream up or any leoran board stuff touch portal please get in touch with the developers as well make sure you do go through to the correct support team don't start doing stream up support in the leoran board discord and everything like that please don't we do have a discord for for myself and stream up so please come and visit us for anything like that and that brings us to the end of this video that was obs 27 honestly i don't know where they're gonna go next because i mean i can think of a few things that i want but i'm not gonna say them out loud let's see if they just do it that's a really dumb strategy, isn't it? Oh, well, I ain't got enough time. So if you want to support me, then consider joining the YouTube membership down below and or join in Patreon as well to help me keep doing this, try and do it full time. Uh, obviously, juggling a lot of work and stuff like that is quite difficult, and I really want to help you guys out as much as possible. So put your rock over the stone, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.